Smart Audio Playlists is a WordPress plugin for creating and managing um, audio playlists and um, it goes far beyond the uh, simple um, uh, playlist feature available in WordPress. Uh, here you can uh, create uh, playlists from uh, local or remote files. Uh, you can set up uh, different uh, tags. Uh, you can set up genre, uh, artists, and uh, many other things that uh, you usually can't do. Uh, also, playlists have uh, own uh, menu where you can see the list of uh, available playlists like this uh, now, and you can see all different things this playlist uh, has. Uh, you can manage tags, genres, artists, and you have. Uh, uh, settings for uh, for this plugin split into several panels. Uh, let's see the settings first. Here you can change style for the whole uh, playlist player, and here is only the media element uh, skin. This is actual uh, player control skin. Uh, you can choose to hide globally all playlists or track statistics and you can set number of uh, playlists per page in playlist archives. As for the team panel, here you have a very important option for uh, loading uh, templates needed by, uh, by the plugin and you can set up different uh, playlist uh, pages in, uh, in WordPress. That's a single playlist page. Uh, which uh, a loop uh, uh, to load uh, to display this page uh, should you show title also because some teams can display titles differently you can choose to hide it from uh, from this normal loop you have uh, similar options for playlist archive and for a brand new feature called terms index uh, index page that we will see later you can also control loading of uh, CSS files used by the playlist plugin. And you have advanced panel uh, and this option is better to not uh, change if you don't know what exactly will you be doing because this is for controlling uh, uh, post types and uh, taxonomies registered by the, by the plugin. More info about this is available in documentation. So let's go back to list of all playlists and uh, uh, let's uh, see how a playlist looks in editor. On top you will have a list uh, of all tracks in the playlist. Here we have uh, playlist information. Uh, this is uh, data related to the whole playlist. Uh, this allows you to have uh, various artists uh, type of uh, playlist where we have different uh, uh, artists for different tracks and uh, also for compilation uh, type of playlists. You can set all these things here. There are uh, different settings you can uh, control how the playlist uh, looks like and uh, what is displayed for tracks in the playlist. Here you have a heading element. This is a short description that is uh, displayed above the playlist and this is description displayed below the playlist. And you have tags. You can add multiple tags for each playlist. You can set one or more genre uh, terms here and same goes for artists. Also you need uh, to set up uh, an image for the playlist. Uh, this is done through featured image uh, Metabox. A list of playlists can be rearranged by drag and drop. And uh, if you don't like the image here, you can click to choose another one. So this is the editor. But let's start with a new playlist. Uh, you don't need to enter anything here just yet. Uh, the first thing you should do is to add uh, tracks. Uh, let's see. We have two options. To add remote. Here you need to specify the URL to uh, this audio file. This has to be exact URL uh, for 
that file and you need to fill all the other data because we cannot uh, automatically get information from that track. Also length is important thing you need to set. But for this demo we will uh, use local and we will upload tracks from uh, for hard, from hard drive. Uh, when you open the media library you will see all media items that are audio and uh, if you have many uh, many playlists you, you should switch to upload it to these posts and any file you upload here will be linked to this post uh, alone. So we'll uh, use our uh, clips we have prepared previously and uh, each, each file is uploaded and WordPress parses uh, this file to get uh, information from it and if available image. Since image is present in these tracks you will get it here. If there is no image for track you can click here and uh, select the image you want. Tracks don't have uh, don't uh, need to have uh, uh, images, but it's recommended that it looks nicer, if nothing else. Uh, once files are here, you can automatically create playlist title. It will take artist and album name. You can fill in the info here, and you can select uh, this information here. Uh, year for this album is not available on track but we'll set something let's say this next uh, Janet is also not set but artist is so we can automatically add artist and let's fill a few tags and let's add uh, Janet And featured image. If you need, you can add some text here to be displayed above the playlist and uh, some description here for below the playlist. And you are pretty much set. Okay, let's see how it looks like. And here it is. This is default layout, and we have image for the playlist here with uh, information about it. Here are the links to archive uh, for artist uh, genre uh, or tags. You will see how many tracks there are and how long the whole playlist is. Player is here. If you choose to show statistics, you will have this icon here and open clicking will show you how many times this track has played. Similar you have statistics for the whole playlist and you have related uh, playlists listed like this. Uh, to play any track simply click on this track. You can go through it, you can change volume, you can stop it, switch to another track just like with any other uh, playlist. If you want you can go to uh, related albums and same things goes for uh, that also. Uh, to see how the archives look like we'll go here and this will display list uh, of all playlists we have in the archive. Uh, this can be displayed in different ways so uh, we will uh, open plugin settings for team and switch this to standard. Now you have a list that displays uh, things a bit differently. You can also filter by 
any of these tags or artists or, or genre. And you see it here. This is the tag we have filtered for. So all that works uh, just fine. Click on the album and you will uh, on the playlist and you will see this playlist in action. A uh, plugin also features one very interesting feature and that's called Terms Index. When you have many artists or, or genres or tags associated with your playlist, it is useful to see all those tags. WordPress doesn't have anything for that, but this plugin implements a Term Index feature and uh, we'll just see it here. So, the URL is looking like this playlist slash name of uh, uh, taxonomy we want to show in this case that's artists it will show all uh, the artists uh, terms and for each one you will see a few uh, playlists available for it you can click on the artist name uh, to see the archive or you can directly click here to see the playlist. Similar, it works for tags. By default, tags are displayed in cloud, like this. But you can also switch tags to be displayed as a list. And here it is. This is very useful for. Uh, classification purposes and to have a better over overview of all terms uh, related to your playlists. All these links are directly used for, uh, for filtering. Uh, plugin is fully responsive so it will work on small devices. It is tested with uh, uh, Android and iOS devices and uh, most importantly it uses HTML5 audio tag in the fallbacks to flash uh, for older browsers or for audio formats that your browser doesn't support because support for different uh, types of files is not uh, cross-browser uh, compatible so different browsers might support different types of files and mp3 is the safest way to go because all major browsers support it let's see a few other uh, skins in styles This is a dark uh, style with uh, alternative skin for player, and there are four, uh, four types, uh, four styles available uh, to uh, to choose from. You can use whatever uh, you want, and the uh, plugin has one widget. This widget uh, is uh, used to display uh, playlists. So we'll set here to display two playlists by uh, sorting by published date and in descending order using a standard uh, template. And here it is, we have two playlists in which we see uh, number of tracks and running time for each. You can switch to compact and uh, only images will be displayed with um, playlist names. A uh, plugin is uh, 
compatible with most teams and for uh, uh, several teams you have templates already created in the plugin. Plugin also has generic templates and uh, extensive documentation and few videos uh, showing you how to make skins, uh, how to make templates that will fit uh, your team. Uh, default styling uh, is uh, pretty uh, pretty solid, so it will work with uh, most teams without any changes. But as with anything, uh, you can uh, change style uh, to fit uh, your team uh, or or to look differently, whatever. Uh, plugin also requires WordPress 3.9, and it will not work with older versions of uh, of WordPress.